ready for European Championship? Uh, I hope so. We will see tomorrow. <laughs> How is going? Uh, fine. Fine, but a little bit tired because of my uh, two-year-old son. Uh, I am a little bit more busy than before and uh, not a bit less uh, sleepy. <laughs> Uh, sleeping is a little bit difficult, so I'm a little bit tired, but uh, this is wonderful and I hope that I will feel energy of the mountains. <laughs> uh, because at the moment everything is just perfect. <laughs> so, and uh, about the shape, let's see. <laughs> because uh, the, the year was hard, but uh, no, the sport is like this, just to enjoy and uh, try to do the best of us. For tomorrow, I was born ready for tomorrow. Are you kidding me? I've been waiting for two years to get back to doing a European Championship. How is the weather, or say like that, for tomorrow? I'm from the UK. This is like the best summer weather that we get. This, this is better than our summer weather. In fact, I'm probably wearing too many clothes at the moment. I might go and take some off. Like this, just to enjoy and uh, try to do the best of us. Check out all what's on the Good Lord, that feels better. All right, ladies and gents, let's give us that countdown. Everybody in the crowd, are you ready to count with me? Here we go. From Keith, no, wait, set, seat, sand, cat, trois. Spartan race. Everybody. No pressure, John. Takes it. There he goes. Looking strong. And he's got it! Well done, John! Good effort as he heads up to the stand up cargo net. Sun coming up, it was it was an amazing course, it was really fun. Good, so, to, be, good to be back. Says the man who said yes, he's not a great fan of altitude and uh, a bit of vertical, but it's a spectacular panorama for you. Oh no, but the ups and downs are fine, it's the thinner air which uh, gets to me. But I arrived late last night to sort of like, uh, yeah, last minute kind of like get here and hopefully that helped so I wasn't so tired. I'm going to put you in front of this thing so I can speak to you a bit more. John Album, you did it again. Yeah, I, um, 
I wasn't quite sure about this one, um, but it all went according to plan. I didn't fail any obstacles, so mission complete. <laughs> mission complete, totally, totally. <laughs> you did it. a great job. So, uh, which was the most difficult obstacles to here in Berlin? I think the, um, the Herc hoist felt heavier than I was expecting. I think it must weigh similar to, to me. And um, a second steer was a bit of a surprise, but I was thinking about the slack line throughout the entire race, because that's one that is quite easy just to, to fail just because you don't concentrate. But I tried to keep concentrating all the way through and um, made it to the line without failing it. Now that's my 10th race 
but just the three, the third uh, Spartan, I do a lot of trail running, sky running in the Dolomites, because I'm from the Dolomites. And today uh, I felt good, and uh, in the downhill I, I create a little bit that I get between me and uh, Soleil. First was John Albon. John Albon is uh, a level higher, and uh, but for me it's unbelievable. I can't uh, I can't describe this feeling. I worked since four five years for such an event, and today for me that's that's amazing. Uh, and, so, let's say you deserve it completely, te lo meriti proprio Peraltro, we were talking, about, you were talking about the Alder Soleil, you beat it for a few seconds. Yeah, yeah till the end, uh, he, he uh, missed the slack line, so he do a bar piece, and then I had problems with the hair cross. The hair cross was very slippery, and so I had very problems push it up, but uh, till the end, uh, super finish. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. For real, now you will go to celebrate, you will have yeah. a beer or oh, something Oh yeah, like a few this. beers, I think. Two <laughs> beers.
gonna tell you he's behind her. Come on, Esther! 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 Come on,